It is time. I'm gonna be hitting deadlifts for the first time, guys. Um, my entire, I say, lifting career, or my entire time lifting, I haven't really done deadlifts, and that's because my chins all have Smith's machines, and I've never really had like any way to even do it. I've tried it on a Smith machine once; it sucks. Then I realized that lifting on a Smith machine sucks, and you know, just thought, why even do it? So, uh, it's a really People say it's like one of the best workouts, one of the best compound movements, and I just have not been doing it like at all. So I thought I'm gonna start incorporating it, and I thought today I'm doing back day and biceps. So I'm gonna do some deadlifts, and I'm gonna show you guys how it goes. I think I have my form pretty well and perfected by now, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And before I start lifting, man, you already know what we got here. They say soy lowers your testosterone, but the only ones that are saying that are the little me and little boys in the comment section with low testosterone. So just do your own research out there when you listen to the, you know people like that. Don't get misled, people. Do not get misled. Please don't. Let's get started with some warm-ups. So here's the warm up, can't just start out heavy. And as you can see, I'm struggling very, very badly here. You know, my nutrient deficient diet just makes it so hard to deadlift 45 pounds off the bar. So, you know, I was struggling here, as you can see, it's just, I don't know what to do. And I'm shaking out of my, I'm shaking out of my, my booty shorts, man. I'm literally shaking, trying to get this weight up. Then I just set it down. Something I should work on is definitely putting a weight down like that. Because I, I noticed I leaned over it instead of just keeping my deadlift form. And I can't do that with heavy weight. So you, you shouldn't do that with heavy weight. You're going to get back, back pain. But I'm almost 100% sure I was doing these deadlifts right. Especially for it being my first time. I only tried doing deadlifts once when I was at the gym when I didn't know how to do them. So I loaded 300 pounds onto the bar without even warming up or anything on a Smith machine. And after that I had like back pain for like three days. And it wasn't the type of back pain that's good, you know, you get a sore back from a good workout, which I got from this workout because my form was actually proper. But no, it's the type of back pain to where you know, wow. You're gonna break your back, dude. Like you're gonna you're gonna cause strain, and break a tendon, and your entire back. But here, uh, I looked up some videos and I just tried perfecting my form as much as possible, and uh, I felt really good. I didn't have any back pain. I had a good sore back after this. Felt great, pumped. So moved up to like what was this? as much weight as I could fit on here was like 215 pounds, and I started repping this out right here. Also, ignore my pants falling down in the last clip. Uh, I, I, I was in the middle of my set, so I had to just execute. I couldn't just stop and pull my pants up. For some creeps out there, comment on that. And, and just look as I'm doing the deadlifts. The back is just popping out. Look at those, look at those bad striations, man. That's what makes the mediators mad. They don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you lifting being healthy that's what the meters don't want to see they just want to see everything but you winning so you just got to cut that out you just got to ignore it like that cut that out of your life ignore it you know that's what i'm learning to do a lot of people a lot of guys out there fragile guys with their egos they feel the need to just counter everything that they don't like instead of just letting some things be and ignoring it you know so that's some things i've been teaching myself especially as a vegan because a lot of people just want to insult you and you just want to say the worst things as possible back to them but the best thing i found to do is ignore them so this is the last set i moved back to 135 pounds after doing two sets of 215 pounds which is as high as i could go and uh, i'd actually feel more comfortable adding more weight than that so uh that would be cool once i get more weight and or find a way to get more weight on there so uh, moving on to the next exercise, I'm doing some back rows. Ignore the angle here. I know it kind of sucked, 
butt for you ladies out there who like my butt or guys who like my butt. Uh, well, there it is because I wanted to get this terrible camera angle. But anyways, for those who are actually looking at my back instead of my butt, you can see the gains really be made. Squeeze the, the real, you know, just contraction there. So always want to go all the way up. It's okay to use a little momentum sometimes. And, you know, that'll happen anyway once you've already done your first primary workout. Good pump for the rear delts, and it's a great back workout. So, this is always going to be one of my go-to workouts. And deadlifts felt great from now on, so these are going to be one of my primary workouts as well. So, moving on to another exercise, I got really creative here. So, this is not something I really have done before, but basically I put my um, bench at a higher setting, put the bar on there. Uh, laid on the bench and then started doing some back rows, which are very, very good for the back. Calisthenics workout right here. So uh, it's good to mix like calisthenics, um, you know, movements in there too. Some calisthenics movements are better than you know some isolation movements, but it's always good to have a mixture of everything in there. So yeah, loved it. Moved on to the next set and got really creative here. What I did was put on a backpack, loaded 25 pounds in here, and then I started doing some rows. And after, as you can see here, after I finished, basically just take off the backpack and then start repping out, get that extra gains in there, get those extra reps. So that's a great superset right there. And I'm just gonna keep doing that as part of my at-home routine. Um, it's great, love it. I love the creativity and there's always something new that you can find. So last workout I did right here, just finished with some back rows. I didn't end up doing biceps because I had already spent a long time doing back. And, you know, sometimes it could be a good idea to do back alone. It's a really huge muscle. So, of course, there's multiple muscles in your back, but you know what I'm saying. So that's the workout for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. What's up, guys? I just finished cooking up some gains, and I just cooked up some oatmeal. And basically what I do after that is I just go outside with my rabbits and I'm going to edit some videos. Jesus Christ. Hey Twinkle, hey Twinkle, hey Twinkle.